Artemis is, th this is the NASA moon program to go back to the moon. It's unlike Apollo in the sense that if it works, it's not just to send 12 astronauts there, walk around, hit a golf ball, plant a flag that's gonna get obliterated and then come home after a couple of days. The idea is to go and to stay and to build a you know, quasi permanent presence there, particularly around the South Pole where there are resources and water and to set up that presence. Um, I think it's possible. I think our timeline is in jeopardy. Starship, uh, which is the vehicle that, again, NASA is using to return astronauts there, is behind schedule. It's going to require you know, all these new technologies, refueling in orbit, which is going to require SpaceX to launch you know, 10, 12. We don't actually know how many rockets they're going to have to launch in quick succession for that to happen. China is moving very quickly in that regard. I don't know that China ultimately will be building a, a base there, but what you're seeing is China partnering with Russia and all kinds of other countries, as are we. As part of the Artemis program, we have the Artemis Accords, more than 35 uh, allied nations who are partnering with the United States. So to think about Artemis, it's not only about scientific discovery or national prestige. This is a diplomatic effort. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a military effort, per se, but it is a national security effort.